What about Dorota? He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. He said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was Dorota Shaw. Okay then, thanks for the information. The Birmingham. Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl. Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Its thing? Birmingham like Alabama. No, Birmingham, Birmingham, England. That's the original Birmingham. Birmingham is Alabama. Birmingham is England. Yeah. <coughs> we didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. Wait, what? The traveler wanted three. Why did the Traveler want three victims? You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. Tell me about the Travelers. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. They come from other worlds? Or why demons? More aliens, yeah. Why demons? Tell us more. Some religions talk of demons, but they don't actually exist. Uh, travelers can get inside us and make it look like we're possessed. Hence the demons. Travelers can inhabit us? Yes, disturbingly. Uh, it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. That doesn't... That doesn't make sense. What? Simple terms? They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. That doesn't fuck you. Are all fucking. Go away. That sounds dumber than possession, yeah. Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. So they. Okay, wait. Before we continue, I need to just 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 get this out there so that we understand all so we all get the stupidity of what was just said. They're talking about this thing goes back millions of years so that it can evolve into the thing that it wants to be. So it's the thing and you guys are just crazy. These are just people. Yeah, that's really fucking weird. Because, hey, guess what? If I evolve into a shark, I'm a fucking shark. Over the course of millions of years, yeah, like, over the course of millions of years, I evolved into me. Like, what? <laughs> what is happening here? This is stupid. Extremely. That was maybe one of the uh, dumbest, like, explanations for a monster I've ever heard. We are all travelers, yeah. That is oh. a non-monster. That is the most- that is the dumbest shit I've heard in a- wow. We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously though, Sam, I'm working, can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? Okay. I'm- angry at how stupid that was. It was really dumb. Tape shift like mine can Yeah, they they could have just said oh there's mind powers. Yeah, I mean like that would 
They could have just said it was fucking possession by demons. Yeah, like we've established that supernatural shit is real in this. And like it would have been, it might have been more interesting if it was possession by demons. Honestly, because there's like a lot of shit that you can do with demons. Like you can get creative with demons. You can get really creative. But it's yeah, I really don't like the aliens aspect of it. Like they're. Uh, like that was already just like oh the spirit world is is another planet hours ahead of us so when you die you time travel for what the fuck does that mean shut up <laughs> like that was already dumb enough but like actually putting it's not demons they go back in time by millions of years to evolve into the thing that they want to be that just means they are that thing you fucking idiot it doesn't it, that oh my god I mm, I am dissatisfied I am dissatisfied and guess what never explain the fucking rules of your monster unless they are good rules of your monster yeah if it was oh yeah demons do work in threes like that would have made so much more sense oh <sighs> Okay. All right. All right. It's eight o'clock and time for another August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Miss Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is calling a puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? But that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket or a cap. Or wear the jacket in the cap. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. God, what a weird fucking radio station. But it seems like just real enough that it, it's just real enough that I could see it being like an actual like community radio show. I'm ready to go to the next chapter. Uh, but I also want to take a quick pause. Uh, just do your thing. So, okay. All right. Well, Let's go to the next chapter. Let's let's see what we've got. Sam. Um, Whoa. I've got news. Uh, we've done a reading. The five of swords. That's the same card as yesterday. That is a hairy man. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of pulling all three again? One in 474,552. I know. I get asked a lot. Do you? Bet it's a ten of swords. Bet you waited like ten years to get asked that question. It's happening again. There's going to be another murder. But then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. Okay. So now we can visit Ellis. The radio host. Okay. I expected to be able to visit the, uh, the other person in Zach's story, but I guess we're going to go to Ellis first. Seems a little bit more pressing.
He must be Sam. Oh, redhead. I just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. She sounds different. Yeah, it's because they had the modulator over over her voice on the radio. Uh, are you telling me Gungaga is in this game? What the fuck? Oh my god. Gungaga. Gang gang. Uh, Zach is the fuckboy photographer who is who is strangely um, a little... He's, there's something off about the way he's acting. But there's something off about the way everyone's acting, to be quite fucking frank. So, did you know Dorota? Yes. We were... friends. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. So you were girlfriends. How did you meet her? We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing a cello, you know? I guess we talked for a little while and then she asked me for a drink after the show. Yep. What happened after the show? After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. I thought we were just going to chat, watch a movie, that sort of thing. Then she kissed me. I was so shocked. Oh! She was so attractive. So... I kissed her back. Gang, gang. Oh no, Dorota was a unicorn hunter. Oh no! Were you in a relationship? You know she had a boyfriend. Oh god. Where do we go? Where do we go now? <laughs> Top down. You got it. This is just between us, right? Yes, of course. We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But... Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. I am the only lesbian in this town. Yeah, probably. Small town, I'm, sh I'm sure things are tough. Roblox, oof. <laughs> you have no friends or fooled around? Uh, I guess more details... Ma'am, stop pulling up your skirt. I'm not going into detail, Sam. We pledged each other. Multiple times. That's fine. You know she had a boyfriend. Oscar. Yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind. But she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then... Maybe she should try something else. Something else? I said some guys like to watch. So... Tell him it would be sexy if he could look but he couldn't... Touch. As far as I know... It worked. Oh! Oh dear. Keep it in your pants. No, this is not a horny. Oh no. Remember how we were talking to the boyfriend earlier about somebody watching from the closet while Dorota was being killed? Uh, we think the murderer oh. watched her and or how did how did it work? I should ask, not state. She told Oscar to watch from her walk-in wardrobe. When he was at a safe distance, she put on a show. She faked it. That's not cool of us to say. I'm just straight up shutting that one down. Did Oscar know about you or 
know why Dorota owns a wedding dress. Did Oscar know about you? I mean, well, I... Oh, okay. Uh, know why Dorota owns a wedding dress? It was her mom's. She was saving in case she ever got married. That's... fairly normal. Uh... Any idea who might want to hurt you? No. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night, though. My life was playing on a TV screen. And every time I did something, another version of me started playing over the first. In the end, there were so many versions, it became a fog. It filled my lungs. I couldn't breathe. And then I woke up. What do you think that means, Sam? Means you hit a deep sleep phase, hon. But I also think it means you're anxious about something. I don't know what. I mean, I'm anxious now. Maybe... Maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Or mine. What do you want me to do? Just don't hurt me. Or let me get hurt. Okay. I, I won't hurt you. But I can't guarantee the behavior of others. Wait, you can get possessed by dream snakes from the mirror dimension? Lexi, tell, I mean, tell us about Poe in the meantime, Alice. We're co-hosts on the radio. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that makes sense. You know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. I want to be like, you do realize he really wants to bone, right? Yeah. Where do I find him? He's on air at the moment, but he'll be finished at 8.30. Hey, let me know if y'all can hear this. I know Sam will, but I don't know if... Well, actually, I can make it so Sam can't either. Oh. Okay, let me know if anybody hears this. Nobody's saying they heard anything. I can do things now. All right, hear what, hear what. Cool. Okay, that's all I needed. All right, where were you last night? On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Okay, uh, do you know Zach Weston? Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe. To promote the show. What do you think of him? Have you had any private sessions with him? Oh. Hmm. I don't think opinions are super relevant here. Like, what do you think of him would give us her impressions, but isn't asking direct, like fact-based, did this thing happen or not. I don't think she fucked him. I don't think she fucked him either. No. Zach keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Not for him. But Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. The pictures were for you! Amazing. You. Sam, you forgot your phone. Oh, I, yeah, no, I wanna... Ah, uh, wait, no, I must go back. I need to go back. Okay, she's here. But the only option is to leave. Oh no. Oh no. 
Okay, so... Stay safe, Ellis. Yeah, for real. Um... Shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oscar, then Ellis again. Okay. God, okay. I like that sound effect. I'm glad that's on the board now. <laughs> he said Roblox, and I was immediately just like, I can go get that. <laughs> yeah, okay, so no Oscar. Uh, so maybe Zach. I don't know why he's not in his house. Do you know Ellis Monroe? Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. Don't be so smarmy. Have you met her? Couple of times, promo shoots, that sort of thing. Anything else? No. She is my type, though. Type of model. I'll ask her about the boudoir shoot again. Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that ever again. Sam, do me a favor. Go easy on Violet. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. Okay. Good to know. Be him if we want to talk to Violet. I'm the one boning Violet. Don't say that! We've got a new target. Alice Monroe. Alice said she was in a relationship with Dorota. She kissed a girl and she liked it. Fuck you! Where John Pope or Poe is going to be next. Rain still says he was praying in his room. Alone. You say Bronwyn and Lexi's alibis don't add up. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Very, uh, very tasteful pumps. Sorry, you can't talk to the sad lesbian. <sighs> but I really want to talk to the sad lesbian. I know. Still not there, of course. All right, back to guest house we go. I just want her to be safe. I know, me too. Let's just visit Violet just in case, but we won't- Oh! Excellent work. Gold star for you. <laughs> oh, hello. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. She's only nine, and she's a maths genius. Hello. <laughs> I have to pop to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. Otherwise, I might have to smother you in your sleep. What's your name? I'm Sam, or I'm the boogeyman. I'm not going to be an asshole. Don't be an asshole to the small child. I, I treat small child like a person. Want to know a secret? Yes. Violet was taken by aliens in a ship. She doesn't want anyone to know. Sorry about that. Sophia, your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. <laughs> now, Sam, how can I help you? Okay, um... Do you know Ellis Monroe? Of course. 
Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> I feel like this one's got a real bad case of compet and is uh, quite deep in the closet, but is very attracted to Monroe. She has a wicked imagination for her age. Do you think you were abducted, or is that why you're taking pills? I guess, uh, is that why you're taking pills? That all seems bad. And yeah. That there. That's why I'm taking pills. Have you told anyone else about this? I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont. Just Chief Dupont. And now you, apparently. <sighs> I wouldn't want to ask this question this way. I would want to ask, did, do you think you had an episode last night? Violet shames others. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Don't feel like I should ask this. Like... Yeah, I, I don't... I feel like they want me to ask it because there's no trash can icon here. But I'm gonna leave. Alright. Alright, um... Tell me about Alice. I've heard on the radio, but other than that, I don't know anything about her. I want to help them. What's the connection between Ellis and Dorota? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Although we can be sure of one thing. They're both redheads. Yeah, she sounded blonde on the radio, but Mercury called her as a redhead. Do you know Zach Weston? No. I can do a reading if you want. Um... Sure, why not? Uh. Chariot. Is Zach a suspect? I'm sensing there's a lot of... Tension, pent up frustration, like he's trying to keep everything together, and if he can just do that. I'm sorry, that's not much help to you, is it? 